everyone. Welcome back to Sarah J. Awesome. So today is going to be a short little video. I am going to start doing a lot of short little tutorials like this. There's been a lot of major videos that I've wanted to do over the last year and I pretty much got all of those done. And all of these short little tutorials have been on my list as well, but the other things seemed more pressing to me and they were more in the moment issues and things that I came across at that time. But the next few months, October, November, and December, and January as well, are the busiest months for me in my real job, in healthcare, and also with the holidays, and then also with my kids' birthdays and other family members' birthdays. So it is going to be crazy for me the next few months. So I'm probably going to be doing a lot of these short little tutorial videos for y'all. And these have all been on my list to do since the beginning, but like I said, I just haven't got around to doing them. So I think the next few months will be the perfect time for that. Let me know if there's any kind of things that you want me to explain about the car or explain about the screen or explain how to do, and I will add that to my list of tutorials. But for today, I wanna to mainly talk about the odometer. Now, it might sound like a silly common sense kind of thing, but, I was actually in the operating room with a doctor and he had bought his wife a Tesla Model Y and we were talking about, you know, my car and his car and how many miles mine has and, and I said, well, how many miles do you have on the Model Y so far? And he said, you know, honestly, I don't even know how to look at the odometer on my car. And I'm like, what? I didn't say anything and of course I'm not going to mention any names, but I figure, okay, this isn't a stupid video. Like a lot of these things you will figure out on your own, but I know a lot of you are buying your cars right now and I, I'm not sure how to do it in the Model Y. I would assume it's the same thing, but for me, I will show y'all how to do that in the Model 3. It's very, very easy. And I'll also show you all the different trips that you can have and how to look at your kilowatt usage and your watts per mile usage and also show you how to look at how much you've actually paid to drive those many miles. So let me just go ahead and show you all the screen. So here is your screen right here. What you're going to do is touch on this white area and you're going to swipe to the right. Now if you swipe back to the middle and you put the car in drive, this is where you will see your no seatbelt sign. I actually need to do maintenance on my car. So we're gonna swipe to the right and this is where we see all of our miles. On the center, you shouldn't see anything unless somebody doesn't have their seatbelt on. And then if you swipe to the left, then you will see the PSI in your tires. It takes a few minutes to see that. It does work, don't worry. So we're gonna swipe back to the right. Wow, that is super creepy because there is nobody in front of my car. I have a scarecrow that is actually in front of my front door. <laughs> I guess it's picking up on that. Okay, so anyway, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there is an odometer reading and this is your total miles and you cannot change this. So currently at 13 months of ownership, I have 23,269 miles that I've driven in my car. So then if you scroll up to the top, the first thing that you'll see is since 3.46 PM, this is the last time I put it in drive just a second ago, I've driven zero miles and I've used zero watts per mile. So this is since 3.46, the last time that I put the car in drive basically. On the since the last drive, you can actually reset this. So we'll go ahead and reset that. You don't have the option to name it. The first one is always since the last time you put the car in drive. When you scroll down to the second level, you'll see since last charge. So since the last time that I charged my car, I've driven 36.5 miles. I've used 10 kilowatt hours of electricity and my average watts per mile usage was 265 watts per mile of driving. Your since last charge, you cannot rename this and you cannot reset it. The third level down, I have mine named as total mileage. This is basically like your trip A 
in a gas car, essentially. The first two are basically extras. So this one, you can rename it to whatever name you want. If you want to put like trip to California, trip to work on Tuesday, road trip to Maine, whatever you want to put. And you can reset that to zero at any time. I don't want to change it, so I'm going to put it as that. This one, the reason that I am always going to keep this the same forever and never reset it and never rename it is because on your odometer, it will show you the total miles that you have, but it will not show you your total kilowatt usage and it will not show you your average watts per mile of all of your driving. This keeps a running average of how many watts per mile you use and it also keeps how many kilowatt hours you've used in total. So for 23,269 miles, which is the same as my total odometer, I've used 5,463 kilowatts and my average is 235 watts per mile, which is actually pretty good. So I'm never going to rename and reset this. I did this when I first got the car and I kept it like this forever, basically. The fourth level down I have labeled as driving year 2021. So basically this is the one that I reset every year. So January 1st, I will reset this. So like next year I'll have it set to driving year 2022. I do this for tax reasons because I'm an independent contractor and I do calculate my miles for work so that I can get a little bit of money back on my taxes for that. For this year, 2021, I've driven 15,943 miles and I've used 3,745 kilowatt hours. Instead of me having to add up how much money I've paid for gas this year, I can just look at my kilowatt hour usage and I can say exactly how much I have paid this year to drive this car this many miles for work. So those are the four settings that you have. You have since the last time you put the car in drive, since the last charge, your total mileage, if you want it to be that, you can change it to whatever else you want and you can reset it to zero at any time. And then you have another one, this is basically trip B, where mine is for my driving year each year, but you can change this one as well to whatever title and you can reset it at any time. Let me show you how I see how much money I've paid for this many miles. So basically my total mileage, I have driven 23,269 miles and I've used 5,463 kilowatts. This changes all the time depending on, like basically if I was really gunning it and driving this car like I stole it and just punching it all the time on the accelerator, then this would go up to, you know, 250 watts per mile or something higher. Basically you'd be using more watts of electricity per mile if you're driving it like a crazy person. But if you have it in chill mode and you're driving very slowly and driving it like an old grandma, then this will actually go down. So maybe like 210, 210 watts per mile instead of 250. I basically drive like a normal person. So 235 watts per mile for me. But anyway, now let's add up our kilowatt hour usage. Now at my house for electricity, I pay 10 cents per kilowatt hour. You'll have to look on your electricity bill to figure this out for yourself. I don't charge at superchargers ever, so that's not a factor for me. So it's very easy for me to calculate how much money I have spent on this because my cents per kilowatt hour at my house has not changed. It's only changed by one penny. So that's really not much at all. And I don't have to really add any supercharging in here because I actually had free supercharging because I had free supercharged miles. And I, I use maybe like, I don't know, like 400 supercharged miles I got for free. So we're gonna multiply our kilowatts here by what we pay per kilowatt hour. So 5,463 kilowatts times 0.10 because I pay 10 cents on the dollar per kilowatt hour and that equals five hundred and forty six dollars and thirty cents so for me to drive twenty three thousand two hundred and sixty nine miles it has cost me five hundred and forty six dollars and thirty cents and it's actually a little bit less because some of these miles like i said um i was able to charge using free supercharged miles so it actually cost me less than this it cost me about five hundred dollars instead of $546. So then let's go to our driving year. So like on my taxes this year, for this driving year, I've driven 15,943 miles and I've used 3,745 kilowatts. We're going to do 3,745 kilowatt hours times 0.10 
because 10 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity at my house and that equals $374.50. So that is how much I have paid so far to drive to work this year. And of course that number is going to go up the next two months. And then if we want to see how much we're paying per mile for this, we can do $374.50 divided by 15,943. So we're paying two cents per mile to drive this car. Pretty amazing. Let me know if y'all have any questions about this at all. I'm happy to help. I am not the best with math, but this is fairly simple if you kind of get the gist of what this is and how to do it. It's, it's really simple just using any kind of calculator. I just stole my husband's iPhone to use his calculator because I'm filming with my iPhone. But anyway, hopefully that kind of breaks things down for you and explains how this little feature works. So let me know if this video was actually helpful. Was it stupid information? Did you already know this? Did you already find out about it in a different video or figure it out on your own? I'm very curious if my little tutorials like this are actually helpful to everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help and explain things. And if you reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Sarah J Awesome, I can always send you more little tutorial videos if you need them trying to explain something because that's what I did for the people before and they were able to immediately figure that out before they went on a, their first road trip in their Tesla. Um, if you're watching this video, you know exactly who you are. I hope everyone enjoyed this video though. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see y'all next time.